Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Flash Helmet. Uh, I'm going to get the Flash Helmet for my friend Mr. Miracle, and I'm going to need the help of my friend Magneto in order to be able to do that. To get the Flash Helmet, you need to play the Flash Museum Duo mission, and you need to gather four briefings in that mission. I'm going to show you where the briefings are. You can enter the mission as soon as you reach uh, combat rating 113. But I strongly, strongly suggest you do not do that. The problem is that if you go into the mission while you're combat rating 113, it essentially means that your duo partner will have to solo the mission. Already I'm at 116, a bit higher than 113, and I will show you in the mission what happens when you go into that mission with a character that is way undergeared. Also, if you go into that mission at combat rating 113, most players will just leave the mission. So if you really, really want to go into that mission at combat rating 113 because you want the helmet for your character, you'd better go with a friend. And because obviously the friend will have to play the mission for you, uh, will have to, to solo the mission for you, and anyone else, as soon as they see that you're combat rating 113, they will leave the mission. Ideally, you want to be around combat rating uh, 130 in order to be able to play this mission. You see how quickly my Mr. Miracle uh, character died? Essentially, you pretty much get one shot uh, into this mission if you're going there at 113. So it pretty much means that your, your dual partner will have to do the whole mission by himself. So you can see the first briefing right here. So let's collect it. There isn't that many briefing, it, it's just uh, four briefing that you need to gather. Uh, also be careful, if you if you go a little too quickly into the mission, uh, there are invisible ninjas who will pretty much uh, kill your character. Again, your character is going to be really squishy in this mission if you're uh, below combat rating 130. I already, even at the combat rating 130, this mission is going to be difficult for certain characters. I remember my electric... Uh, my electric character, a Saturn Knight, uh, had to be pretty much 132 in order to be able to do this mission properly, as opposed to uh, my Galactus, who was uh, Quantum uh, at the time, could pretty much do that mission at 128, and even uh, you probably could have done that mission at even less than 128. But at 128, Galactus did, did fine in that mission. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I really overpowered. Uh, power at the time, like uh, Ice was really overpowered at the time this mission was first released. I wouldn't be surprised if Ice Powers could actually do this mission at 124 already. But ideally I would strongly suggest wait until you're at least uh, combat rating 130 before you enter this mission, otherwise your, your dual partner will just exit the mission right away. And uh, your, your, your dual partner will have to do pretty much uh, most of the work. If you want to go into this mission below 130, I would strongly suggest you play your play as a role, uh, as a, either as a healer, so stay away from enemies, heal your friend to help him do the mission, and try not to get killed yourself, or as a controller, give power back to your friend, debuffs enemies, and again, try to stay out of the way of the enemies. So you can see where the third briefing is, and also you can look at the minimap, if you're not sure where I, where I am, uh, in this mission, just look at the minimap in the top right corner, and you'll see. And essentially, the last briefing is at the final, uh, the final fight with. Uh, if you're a hero player, you're going to be fighting Captain Cold. And if you're a villain player, you're going to be fighting uh, Green Arrow. Unless, of course, uh, you're you're into a Suicide Squad mission where heroes and villain gets uh, mixed together. Uh, but other other than that, uh, that's how it should work. So here Magneto defeated uh, Captain Cold and all the evil ninjas that were helping him. So now we're free to, to go collect our briefing. Uh, also, well, let's collect our... As you can see, Mr. Miracle didn't do anything. Magneto was strong enough to be able to solo this, uh, this mission by himself. I think Magneto is 183 by now or something like that. I didn't know. Uh, we'll see. Oh, well, 186. Even more powerful than I remembered. So let's select... Uh, Let's see, what can we take from there? I probably should have... Uh, I probably should have taken the Maka and the Mark of Victory uh, next time. So essentially we can collect our last uh, briefing. 
and our friend Magneto uh, is using a barrel just because. The barrel was there, why, uh, no reason not to use it. Although by now Magneto probably has the 1000 barrel feet, uh, but Mr. Miracle may still need it. So we're done right here, so we can uh, we can leave. Uh, essentially, I was playing both characters, but uh, normally, if you're playing with uh, with someone who pretty much does the, the the whole mission for you, you might want to give him a little bow or a little thank you uh, as you leave. So let's wait for the little envelope to appear underneath the mini map to tell us that we got mail, and there we go, we got mail. So let us go and and collect uh, our mail. Usually it takes a bit longer than that. I just uh, essentially edited the video so that uh, we wouldn't have to wait too long. So let's collect uh, the flash helmet. So you can see the, the nice icon for the helmet. So let's go into our inventory. Let's consume the helmet. There we go. And now if we go into our, our styles we can go equip our brand new uh, original speedster helmet and there we go oh and it pretty much interferes with the cape so let's remove the cape uh, just for a bit the mr miracle cape is awesome sadly it does interfere with uh, quite a few helmet and uh, even some some uh, some chest pieces sadly but uh, here we go so you can see our friend uh, mr miracle with his brand new uh, flash helmet so if you missed out on the flash call that was just uh, added to the game, and if you don't want to spend $15 for the flash call, well, uh, a nice alternative is the flash helmet. Uh, the flash helmet it looks really nice, and so if you want an iconic flash character, the flash helmet will do the trick. So now you know how to get the flash helmet. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye-bye.